Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna continue working on part two of this restaurant. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up our project. We added the grid line and some levels, and then we changed the naming of our floor plans. Um, now we're here at the floor plan, and then we're going to start adding some of the walls uh, we're gonna start off by adding the exterior wall and then after that the interior wall so for interior and exterior wall we're gonna maintain the 200 thickness for the for the walls so here I'm gonna click on wall under architecture let's save this one and then after that you can see we have basic wall generic um, for newer Revit um, versions uh, you probably have one of the, this so you could just choose one of those and then after that you could just click edit type duplicate and then here we could just name it as exterior wall number one and then press OK and then after that click on edit and then here we'll be able to delete the one for the exterior side after that the core boundaries structure and core boundaries that's something that you, you cannot delete and then we'll be able to delete this so here it's already highlighted for the first one you could just click on deleting this up to the core boundaries and then as you can see this one is grayed out so that's something that you cannot delete at all click on the fourth delete again so now we have core boundary structure core boundary we are going to change the thickness to 200 and then for the metal layer what we're going to do is we're going to add something white so usually what i use is gypsum wall board for, for now and then what you could do is we could duplicate this. So here I'm going to duplicate this said material and I'm going to call this one as exterior wall number one. Apply. Okay. So now this is an exterior wall, but what's produced with the uh, gypsum wall board. Um, and three beats. So now click OK, OK, and let's start by adding walls at our A1. So here let's click on A1. Um, let's escape first because we need to set up our height. So for this one, what we could do is we're going to add it up to so here is unconnected you can change it up to the top parapet for now so right now we're gonna put it up to top parapet and then once we uh, finalize all our uh, interior and exterior walls we're gonna uh, change some of them according to the plan so now you can change it up here at the top constraint under properties or you could change it from here. So same way it's similar. So here floor plan to top parapet and then we're going to maintain wall center line and chain is already checked. So we're good. So now let's click again E1 up to A12 and then going down to E12 going back here to E2 going above to B2 going across to B1 and then going back to A1 again so now we have our exterior wall created 
Now for our interior wall, let's click on wall again. The exterior wall is already selected. We can edit type, duplicate. This will be interior wall number one. Press OK and then edit. Let's maintain the 200 like I said. And then here, let's just change this. So let's duplicate this. Selected materials and then interior wall number one. Press OK and then now. So let's just change that up. I made a mistake. I'm going to just edit the name. Rename it. Wall number one. And then after that, press OK and then OK. So here we're going to zoom in under B and then B2 and then going to B, so A1. We're just going to close that off. And then here we're going to add a wall right there. So that wall is added already. After that, we're going to go here. This will be the A3. So we're going to close this off, this portion. So you can, you can click wall again, or you could just select this wall, which is the interior wall. And what you could do is you could type in CS. That's basically create similar, which is this one. So CS, what it does is if you already have, for example, this one is exterior wall, you select that and then type in CS. As you can see, you'll be able to add in interior wall, interior wall, just like that. You don't need to scroll down and look for the specific uh, wall that you wanted to. So once you know that this one, I'm going to use interior wall again, CS. And as you can see, you'll be able to select again. So now you can select A1 up to B1 or B3. So A3 up to B3. Going across to B4 and then closing it off into A4. So now that's done. We could add an office right about here. So I'm going to add an office right here. And this office will be around 2150 from this wall. So that's good. So actually this one should be just 1500. 1550 would be good. This is the washroom area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another wall right here. So I'm going to close this off from A5 to B5. And then we're going to add 2150 right here and then close it off like that. This will be the manager's office. This will be the crew washroom. And then this is another crew room here. So that's that's our plan there. So here, this is 1550 from this wall. And then this one is 2150 from this grid line, which is the five. So I'm just giving you the dimension so that you guys can follow. This is 1550 from this grid line number four. So that's the use, one of the use of the grid lines here when you're following my videos is that you'll be able to follow the grid lines or the walls uh, with reference with the grid lines. So this is very important 
one of the use as well for the grid lines or structural engineers are where they're placing the columns. So um, having grid lines is um, is very much very useful, especially when you're coordinating with different fields or different um, vendors like the architect, structural engineer, even electrical, mechanical, those kind of stuff. So it's basically for coordination. And here as well, coordinating with me when I ask you to click on here and there and reference that one. So we've done the manager's office. Now what we could do is we could add in the service room. So here, what we could do is, I'm gonna click the wall again, interior wall. And then I'm going to add a wall right here, going up to number seven. So number seven grid line, and then I'm gonna close it off. And that one, it should be around 1725. So 1725 from that and then we're going to extend this wall all the way down there so we're going to create more of those later on so cs i want you to add a wall right here for now and then a wall right here going across here. So going across C, C grid line, or just about the midpoint of the C grid line. So somewhere right there, because we're going to go and create some washroom for the public and then here what I want you to do is add the grid line up to or the wall up to C so extend this wall up to C okay so we have this wall up to C that will be the backing for the washroom and then now here we're going to add a wall again. And then this wall would be, oops, select this. And then I'm going to select this one. This will be 1800 from this wall. So that's perfect. And then we have a universal washroom right here and then the washroom for the women's right here and then here i want you to do is just move it all the way to this grid line number seven so now here is 1800 from this grid line so I'm just giving you some dimensions. So for this, we're going to just close it off like here. And we're going to extend that later on. Also, we're going to add a wall right here. Select that CS. And then this, will, this one should be referencing this grid line number seven again. And I just want it to be around 1000. And then pull it back a little bit. Just enough for this one to be intersecting. And then here. We're going to extend this wall after I want it to be 
1120. So now we have enough room for this part. Okay. This wall again. We're going to add a wall right here. This will be around around 1350. Okay, and then another, this wall should be closing it off like that. And then I'm going to align it from there. And this one should be around. Seven thirty. So let's change this. I want the inside to have enough. Yeah. So that's good enough. Let's make it seven fifty instead. And then let's just align this. And then after that. We're going to extend this. I want the same wall, but an open wall right here. And then this one should be extended there. So I'm going to move this one back. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this back like that. What I want to do is push this back a little bit like that. And push this all the way right there. That's just too much space that we need. But I want to maintain the distance right here. We can move, push this back around 1500, and this one will be moved as well. So now I just want to double check. So I want this one again to be 1120. So I push that back there, AL. Let's align this one. And then let's push this back. I just want this one to be 1240. Let's make it 1250 right there. So that's enough for the spaced air. This will be enough for the fountain drink area. This will be the women's washroom, which is 1050 from this grid line. This is the C. Um, this is the men's washroom. It will. This will be janitor's closet. So we could just close this off. We could just extend this one. That will be the closet. So a, little, a small closet for the janitor. And this will be the universal washroom. So men's, women's, universal. This will be the area for the soft drink. This will be where the garbage bin will be. And then uh, for the kids, um, where they have their boost, booster seat. And then this will be the service area. Or, then, or the service room. This one is the manager's office. Uh, the woman and the men's crew. So we could just add in the middle right here for the washroom and then this will be the crew room where they could eat uh, we could open this up we, we don't do have a door but 
uh, we could do that later on and then this is another area for some storage and hot water heating and those kind of stuff so we could just figure that out later on so let's stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below